arrived safely. We thank you, God, for all the power that you're going to fill this place on this day. We ask that you just move by your spirit and through your people. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Welcome into this place. Welcome into this place.
where Amen. we have the joy to have each of you in the sanctuary and all who join us virtually at Nia Fellowship Baptist Church this morning. Today, as we gather together to worship, let's remember the words of Psalm 100. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and enter his courts with praise. Yeah. Give thanks to him and praise his name, for the Lord is good and his love endures forever. His faithfulness continues through all generations. So with grateful hearts, let's enter God's presence and worship him because he is good. Please stand for the call to worship. I will worship the one who calmed the raging sea. I will worship the one who hushed the raging me. My hands I lift to you, my voice I lift to you, my heart I lift to you, I will worship you. Let us sing together the glory of our tree.
Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. We are the Dia Fellowship Baptist Church. We are the first and only African American Baptist Church in the township of West Orange. If you are watching on Facebook Live or viewing us on social media, you are in the right place at the right time. For there's no place like this place anywhere near this place. We are the Nia Fellowship Baptist Church. Amen. Now let us be clear. This church is not just a building. It is a living and breathing community of faith. We are excited to have you join us whether you are churched or saved or unchurched or unsaved, we are happy to have you within this fellowship. We want to basically add that anyone that enters into this sanctuary, we treat as family. So why don't we just take the time just to greet each other and say, welcome. Even if you know the person next to you, just say, welcome. Welcome. I must hasten to, to mention that there is a, a deacon emeritus from New York with his lovely wife here again to visit us for the second time. Please, please thank you. Amen. Amen. We are so happy to have you. And we remembered to acknowledge you when you came in through these doors. Amen. Welcome again. Amen. As we act in the absence of our dear pastor and Lady Dr. Gwen, who are on a poor man's vacation, a staycation at home, they are getting much needed rest and refreshment. Although the pastor is sending out a plethora of emails. Amen. Each and every day. Amen. Hey, I don't uh, know what kind of vacation that is. Go on vacation, but he's doing sir. His thing. Sheesh. He would have me to mention that we are in the midst of finalizing or refinancing. All of our Amen. 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 As we mentioned last week, not only were we able to refinance the mortgage, but we also were able to be approved for capital funding to make much needed improvements. Amen. Amen. are in the midst of several kinds of activities. One of the activities is that we are in the midst of raising $15,000 before the end of this month. Amen. We encourage you to honor your commitment. If you did not commit and you still want to commit, there is still time. But more importantly, honor your commitment. Too many times we take the time to say, oh yes, I'll, I'll give a thousand dollars and then we, we got to track it down. But we want to assure you that every gift that is given is a blessing not only to us but also to you. We also want to hasten and tell you that the mighty men of Nia are in the midst. Amen. And we are doing the popcorn fundraiser. And the fundraiser has already raised over $2,000. Amen. Do not hesitate to review the emails that have been sent out. Or if one of our 
members had shared the information with you, set up a store, contribute, encourage others to contribute. Amen. Amen. And amen. Amen. We also want to add that we are fastly approaching the Consecration Sunday in September, uh, which will be the third Sunday, September 15th. We will not only be celebrating Consecration Sunday, but we will be presenting the Silva Umakoro Humanitarian Award. Amen. Now, we just don't give awards, just be giving awards. We need your support. The Silva Umakoro Humanitarian Award just is not an individual thing. It's not a family effort. It is a church-wide effort. We request that you give as well as you can to this particular effort as well. The pastor would have you know that we need to keep Deacon Platt and the Platt family in prayer because the loss of a very close cousin by the name of Imogene Platt, who happened to be 86 years young in Mullins, South Carolina. Her funeral will be at the Troy Funeral Home on Tuesday, August 20th. Let's just keep each other in prayer. Amen. 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 Guide yourself accordingly. For those who are watching us, we want to remind you that there is a prayer meeting on Mondays at 6 o'clock. If you need the information to log on, you can send a chat and we will respond accordingly to let you know how you can be a part of that fellowship as well. In addition, uh, the second Sunday in September, we will be celebrating our nurses and our ushers and our readers. Amen. Amen. We will have you know that we are a celebratory church family. We believe in celebrating every effort. Amen. To God be the glory. Our thought for a week. Be an organ donor. Give your heart to Jesus. In God's word, we are commanded to pray. Let us prepare your hearts and minds as Sister Katrina Miller leads us to the throne of grace. your love and your grace and mercy to all we encounter. 
Father God, right now, we just lift up our pastor and Lady Plot to you in their absence. Father God, we just ask that you continue to surround them with your protection of peace, Father God. Father God, as you renew and rest them, Father God, we thank you, Father God, for their ability, Father God, to just rock, relax, Father God. We ask, Father God, that you just continue to strengthen him, Father God, while he is away, Father God, and return him to us safely. And Father God, for our preacher of the hour, Father God, Reverend Hendricks, Father God, as she brings forth the word, we ask that you, Father God, that you can continue to anoint her, Father God, with the power of the Holy Spirit, Father God, and make her words be a beacon of hope and truth. Open our hearts and minds to receive your message on today, Father, that you have for us. Let it take root in our lives, Father, bearing fruit for your glory. And now, Father, we just ask that you remember the sick and the shut in among us, that you touch their bodies, Father God, that you grant them healing, Father God, confident strength. We ask for your presence to be near those who are suffering, Father God, and for your peace, Father God, to fill their hearts, Father God. Father God, we want to be mindful, Father God, of those that are incarcerated, Father God. Lord, may they find hope in you, Father God, even in the dark places, bring light into their lives. And may they experience the freedom that comes from knowing Jesus Christ as their Savior. Father God, I ask right now that we lift up our nation, Father God. We ask for your guidance and wisdom, Father God, for our leaders. Let there be justice, peace, and unity across the land. That you heal the vision that is among us, Father God. And may we as a nation turn our hearts back to you. And Father God, as we prepare, Father God, for our children, Father God, some are returning back to college, Father God. Some are just, Father God, enjoying the last few weeks of summer, Father God. And Father God, we know that the enemy, Father God, doesn't want, Father God, for them to succeed, Father God. So, Father God, right now we bind, Father God, any plot, Father God, that the enemy has a design against their lives. Because we know they are the future, Father God. So we just ask that you cover them, Father God. And Father God, everyone that is here right now under the sound of my voice, Father God, I just ask that you just, Father God, bless them, Father God. Father God, that you meet every need, Father God. And Father God, that you grant, Father God, some wants, Father God. I ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen.
But I I'm in my closet Yes I am I'm in my Plank to 
to First Lady Dr. Gwen, to everybody here that makes up the body of Christ, I stand this morning very honored and very appreciative. Right. Hallelujah. Because you could have chosen anybody, but you chose me. And for that, I am grateful. Hallelujah. And before I get started, that's just a little song. And, and God has really been blessing me with it. And it's a song that I really do like, and I just heard it. And say, God is a good God. Anybody know God is a good God? Let's just try it, you know, for a few minutes. How about, how about that? God is a good God. Just a, a, a stationary person. I like to know 
this, that, and I like to, you know. And so that's the type of person I am. So, you know, I'm so when change come, you know, it kind of, you know, I got to know this change. You see, change comes with uncomfortability. You know what I'm saying? That's me right there. Uncomfortability. Feeling uh, associated with change and transition. How many of you know this morning that hurt, pain, and circumstances of life cause you to question your relationship with God? Frustrating, anxiety, doubt can come so easily when the pressure of adversity sets in. Glory to God. And the mind wrestles with truth. Well, I stopped by to tell you this morning that God said, get ready. Because the shift is coming. And the change is coming. Whichever way you say it, shift, change. And it's your time to be blessed. So God is shifting. God is. God is shifting you into position for the promise. The promise. The promise you have been waiting, praying for. How many of you know this morning, sometimes God's shift looks like chaos, setbacks, and even defeat. You will understand by and by why you had to go through what you had been through. If you are in a middle of a shift, you already notice the change. Is happening that don't make sense. When God's shift starts, your whole world can seem to be turned upside down. Huh? But anybody in here huh, knows what I'm talking about. Huh? Wave after wave. Huh? Tess, huh? feel like you've been punished. Huh? Touch your neighbor huh? and tell them, huh? don't. He has to ship us out uh, out of conditions uh, that presents uh, our ship. I stopped by to tell you uh, God is putting a period to her where he had a question mark. God is closing wrong doors, uh, wrong places, uh, wrong relationships, uh, wrong decisions, uh, even wrong places that have taken you uh, Get ready, huh? This 
feel uh, anybody in here. Uh, I feel a turnaround. Uh, I feel a turnaround. Uh, glory to God. Uh, there's something uh, about uh, when it's your turn. It's something about it. Uh, it doesn't matter uh, where you're standing in line. Uh, God begin to tell me uh, it don't matter uh, where you're standing, uh, where you're sitting, uh, where you're walking. Uh, when it's your time, uh, it's your time. Uh, Cause guess what? Uh, I will do for you. Uh, I'll take them. Uh, he said the front, uh, from the front uh, to the back. Uh, hallelujah! And move, uh, move that uh, stone uh, right out of your way. Uh, hallelujah! And then they begin to say, uh, "How in the world uh, did she get up there?" But God did. It. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So how many you know this morning, uh, we serve uh, and turn around God. Uh, God told me to tell you this morning, uh, it's a new season. Uh, it's a new season. Uh, and God wants you, uh, God wants us to take you into a new season. Uh, glory to God. Uh, it's a season of abundance. Uh, and be blessed. Uh, how many are ready? Uh, how many are ready this morning uh, for your new season? Uh, I don't know. Well, I'm ready. I'm ready for my new season. I say, God, I don't know what you're doing. And I don't know how you're doing it. Well, I know that you're doing it. But God begin to tell me because I'm uncomfortable. I'm uncomfortable with shifts. So sometimes I may stay longer than I'm supposed to because it feels like a survivor. But God begin to tell us to step out. And see, because God began to tell me, uh, He see, uh, if I told you to, uh, if I told you to step out, uh, then I'm with you. Uh, but I didn't tell you, uh, did you stay put? Step out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So how many ready this morning uh, for a better season? Uh, glory to God. Uh, tell your neighbor, uh, I'm entering to uh, a new season, uh, a better season. Uh, glory to God. Uh, because I'm stepping up. Uh, I'm stepping up uh, to a new level. Uh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. You see this morning. Uh, you see this morning. Uh, it's a new season. Uh, it's a new day. Uh, you see morning uh, when I came up with the word of God uh, God began to give me uh, the word uh, it could say it, uh, it was raining uh, all over the world uh, he told me uh, don't watch the news uh, don't watch the news uh, because that's a distraction uh, that's going to be a distraction for you uh, but guess what uh, it's going to be lined up uh, with the word of God uh, hallelujah so I'm telling you this morning uh, it's a new season uh, it's a new it's a new, it's new, and you ain't never, you ain't never experienced it before, but it's new. It's a new, it's a new season. It's a new day. It's a new. And guess what? And God began to tell me, he said, now look, because it's new, and you don't know about it, then you're afraid to do it. But he said uh, that I have not given you the spirit of fear, uh, but of love uh, and of peace uh, and of sound mind. Uh, so I thank you. Uh, I thank God. Uh, I thank God for his word. Uh, I thank God uh, for the season. Uh, I thank God uh, for where he's bringing us. Uh, he's bringing us. Uh, hallelujah. He's bringing us. Uh, now we all uh, ain't on the same page. Uh, and I understand that. You got to be uh, who God called you to be. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See, he didn't call us to be the same. He called us to be different. Uh, but one thing about it, uh, he gave us a spirit uh, to love one another. Just to love one another. That's why the spirit he gave us, to love. Now we're different. But he gave us a spirit to love. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, God.
you know. See, fear is, 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 but God has called us to not walk in the fear. And see, when you get afraid to do what God has called you to do, then you just don't do nothing. Because you don't, not because you don't want to do it, it's because you're afraid to do it. Hallelujah. And see, we're afraid of uh, rejection. And we think, I thank God that uh, all of these years that I want that spirit of rejection for such a time as this. Because I kept wondering why that God didn't give it to me right then. He said, because you wasn't ready. But now you're ready. Now you're ready. Now you're ready. And see, then I said, Lord, I said, well, then I'm too old. He said, no, no. Everybody not called in the Bible. They were older than you. They were older than you. But you know what? But I'm just standing here, and I'm so grateful to see you. Do we, uh, I'm going to, uh, do the altar call. I'm going to do the altar call. Under the sound of my voice, those that heard the word, and if you're looking for a place, if you're looking for a place to grow and rest, the New Fellowship Baptist Church is your place. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, God. Well, it's good to know that everybody's saved. It's good to know that. It's good to know that everybody's saved. Hallelujah. Church, 
located 174 South Valley Road in West Orange, New Jersey, 07052. If you are online, there are several ways to give. One is Givelify. If you go to our website, you'll see there's a place to donate, and Givelify is there for you to make an online donation. You can also give by selling your donation to the church, and that donation that cell can be uh, directed to the email of Nia Fellowship, which is neafellowship.com, I believe. And anticipate that there will be a QR code that can be used for future giving. It will be posted to our website in the near future, and that will be done. Please stand to your feet, and let's get ready to give. God bless you.
do out of love because it's not about us. It's all about him.